Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways on how you can boost your FPS in Fortnite. And by the end of this video, hopefully you'll be able to get the maximum boost in your game. Alright, so let's begin. So firstly, you want to click on the search bar, go into settings, then where it says system go into display. Then if you come down slightly to where it says graphics, inside here you firstly want to make sure the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on and then you want to go ahead and click on add desktop app. And inside this section is where we want to find our Fortnite game folder. Once you find the directory where your game is installed, select your Fortnite client win64 shipping and that's what we're looking for right now. A lot of people think it's a Fortnite launcher, but it's not. You actually want the Win64 ship this one. And once that's selected, just go ahead and click on this add button at the bottom right. And this way your Fortnite client will be added to your graphics settings. And you can also do this to any favorite game that you play, for which you want an FPS boost. Now if you then go into options, in here you want to change the graphics preference from the default, or maybe let Windows decide which they could put on the power saving and we don't want that. Instead, you want to put it on high performance and then go ahead and click on save. Right click on the taskbar and select task manager. And inside the task manager, if you click on performance tab and if you go down to the bottom under where it says uptime, you will see this count right there. And that is how long your PC has been up for but yours may be a lot different and the number may be significantly higher. And I'm not talking about the hours, I'm talking about the days I've heard people have had their uptime like 10 days, 20 days, even over a month as well, which is just mind blowing. But that's what Windows does by default. And it's because of a fast start feature, which basically puts your PC into this legacy of hibernation mode. But having uptime for that long can have a huge impact on your performance. So what you want is every time you turn off your PC, your uptime gets reset. So let me show you how to do that right now. So you want to open up the start menu and inside here you want to type in control panel and select it. You then want to select the first one system and security, then click on the power options and then select choose what the power button do. And from there you want to find this little shield logo with an underlying text saying change settings that are currently unavailable. Now if you're using a laptop, then you'll find an option stating fast start setting, which Windows do recommend. It does help your PC start up faster after shutdown, but it does it in a really weird way where it puts your PC in hibernation and it doesn't fully shut it down. So if we go ahead and turn off this setting, which is 100% safe and fine, and it's something I actually highly recommend doing, especially if you've got an SSD, then go on to save changes. Now, if we shut down our PC and turn it back on again, the uptime will be fully reset. All of these will be on season, and it'll be like literally a few seconds since your PC has booted up, which as you can imagine, can significantly improve your FPS. For this, you want to open up the Epic Games Launcher, you then want to go into library and under the Fortnite game, where those three horizontal dots are, you want to go into the manage. After that, you want to find the installation line and click on this little icon right here. From there, you want to find the Fortnite game. You want to go in the binaries, then win64 and scroll down to where you see the Fortnite client win64 ship in right here. You then want to go ahead and right click on it, then go into properties. And in here under the compatibility tab, you want to go ahead and tick the disable full screen optimizations button. In addition to doing that, a lot of people like to click the change high DPI settings and they like to click on the override high DPI scale and behavior and give that a tick and make sure it's applied by application. Just don't forget to click OK and then apply. Now we're going to go into the start menu and type in CMD and where it says command prompt right there before clicking it like so, you want to click run as administrator and inside the command prompt we're going to run a little command that can benefit your PC. Just type in sfc slash scan and then now like so just literally copy that word to word, then press enter and you'll notice it will begin a system scan. 
It'll take some time, but it doesn't take that long at all. And after the scan has completed, you will see that if it has found anything which it actually has on my PC right here, it will automatically repair them and basically fix the issue for me. So it found some sort of corrupt files which I have no idea what these are, but I fixed it and I can't really complain about that. So everything is good. This is why I recommend this command is like you've just seen there. It finds corrupt files that I had no idea about and it fixes them. And for all I know, these like corrupt files right here could have been causing FPS drops, stutters or even crashes in game. Yes, the likelihood of it is very low, but you never know and it's something I like to recommend. Now we're going to open up Discord and we're going to go into the settings tab. We're then going to scroll down to the advanced settings. And inside here we've got a setting called hardware acceleration. Now what this does is it uses your GPU to make Discord run smoother. However that can negatively affect your FPS. Obviously it does depend on what PC you've got. If you've got a high end PC you won't notice this at all. A medium PC you probably and ever. But if you've got a low end PC and you have Discord and Fortnite open you will probably notice this. And if you go ahead and turn this off you'll probably get a huge boost. Same with Google as well. A lot of people play Fortnite while having this open. That could be watching YouTube or doing anything really. If you actually go into the top right, right here under where it says settings, then go down to the system on the left hand side. You'll see there's another hardware acceleration button right here. And essentially it does the exact same thing I explained earlier with Discord. We're back in the Epic Games Launcher and under the library under the horizontal dot under Fortnite. If you go this time into options inside here, I highly recommend you uncheck high resolution textures as you don't really need this as you should be using performance mode in game as it will give you way more FPS than DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 will. Obviously the graphics are a lot lower quality on performance mode in comparison to the others and that's why a lot of people choose to use it. I know some people say that DirectX 12 does run better on the PC, but you can see from the graphical fidelity standpoint here, the difference does just speak for itself. Along with that as well, if you're not using DirectX 12, you can also get rid of the shaders. Lastly, for the pre-download streamed assets, it's up to you to either install or not. Along with that, it's also a good idea to go into manage and just go ahead and verify your files. It's something you should be doing every now and then, just to make sure all the files are up to date. They're not corrupt, and they're not causing you any issues. In the settings under video, I highly recommend to set everything to low as I'm doing. Also, in audio you can get a slight FPS boost if you actually use lower, even though it does sound a lot worse, I'm not gonna lie. Also, in game options, if you scroll down to where it says Nvidia highlights you want that disabled, you also want peripheral light and disabled. And for replays you want all of these disabled as these can also affect your FPS. And for both these energy saving features off, as I've heard these can negatively affect your FPS far on. And finally for step 8, we're going to go into the settings and we're going to go into updates and check if you've any updates available. Whatever operating system you're on, it's very similar. It might be a tiny bit different if you're on Windows 10, but all you want to do is check for updates and see if there's any out there. I myself, I like to keep my system up to date because I feel like when Microsoft push out an update, it does have good intentions. Like usually they are trying to improve performance and fix bugs. So I do like to go ahead and download them, then install them when I can. However, I do realize for a lot of people out there, they don't like to install the latest update in case they cause any issues. And that's perfectly fine as well. If you want to sit on it for a little bit and let other people sort of like test the updates before you, that's fine, you can do that. But I myself, I always like to keep my windows up to date. Same with my graphics card drivers as well, I've got a Nvidia graphics card, so I'll open up GeForce Experience and click check for updates. And you're having an update available, do keep it to the latest one. 
So if these tips did help you out then consider subscribing and giving this a big thumbs up. Comment below if you have any queries and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.